Hello wonderful people, good morning from Thaka Bangladesh. I just woke up a while ago, it's 3.30 in the morning and it was like a very, yesterday was a very confusing day. I was very tired for some reason. The middle of the day I fell asleep. So this particular review is an unplanned one, okay? This is gonna be a little bit unusual in that way because I did not plan to do this review. I received this uh, these gifts from one of my sisters, uh, Sister Rafa. Uh, she is uh, someone in our Bangladesh fragrance community who I really respect because uh, uh, many people, you know, in Bangladesh, they are collectors and they do also reviews, uh, ladies and gents both. But uh, this particular uh, person, she has knows for uh, <laughs> fragrances that in general public, other people, I haven't seen that many people who have such taste, impeccable taste and unique perfumes she collects. And uh, she always sends me these samples. I feel very <laughs> awkward at times because, you know, she sent me so many things. So I don't want to thank like that, but thank you so much, sister, for all these samples. Let me show you what she sent me. I actually reviewed the, one of them already. Uh, this is uh, uh, this Frank Bocklet, I think, cocaine. Uh, this one, this perfume she sent me, okay, uh, sample. Then she sent this, these ones like a, I don't know how to say some of these names because there's a niche, I think. I think Karen, Santel, Sky, I don't know <laughs> the name, I have to check. Then she sent me also Guerlain's, I think, Rose Barber, this one. And this is just amazing. She wrote it in with her hands, you know, like nice handwriting. And then she also sent me Ritual. I don't know what perfume this one is, I have to check out. So the last one that I'm gonna show you is the one I'm gonna review. This particular perfume, I'll let you know why I decided to talk about it right now. This is that sample, okay? This is from a very posh niche house from Frederick Mall, I think, yes. And it's called, the name is uh, kind of, I cannot, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna butcher it. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I think it's Iris, Iris uh, Puder, okay? <laughs> Puder or Pudre, I don't know. It's basically Powdery Iris, that's the name, I think. So uh, let's, go i have it on my hand so i have a few things to say even though this is like an initial impression i will have a few things to say so first thing i want to say is uh this perfume a uh, house i don't think i like to rate it like in terms of smell or what they create but i'll just tell you this thing i'll just leave it like this this perfume house makes some fragrances that are beyond you know my uh i would say beyond other fragrances because uh they they make fragrance very artistic okay frederick mall i have uh, the names i came by at first when i started my journey i heard about uh mask ravageur never tried it then i think uh carnal flowers okay thing i did that yeah carnal flowers sorry this one i did a review on for an official sample that smelled so nice you know like the tube rose jasmine some florals it's just lovely they are just master at florals and then also they have, I think, Portrait of a Lady. I smelled it, but I never reviewed it. So this one right here on my hand, uh, yesterday I sprayed it here before I went to sleep. Uh, I went to meet a brother in the evening. And then, um, like, before I went to sleep, I went to meet a brother. It was right here. It was very nice, windy, kind of cold. And the thing that, you know, it, it was coming, hitting my nose. Every time I was smelling it. I was loving my arms so much. You know, you put certain perfume on yourself and you fall in love with yourself. This is what happened with this particular perfume. I didn't want to review it, you know, like it's not sort of a review. I'm just letting you know the reason why I'm doing it. You know, life is too short. <laughs> this is going to sound a bit weird, but yeah, sometimes I'm scared that some of the fragrances, you know, I may not wake up from my sleep and then perhaps, you know, life is always uncertain, but I wanted to talk about this perfume before I do a full on review. This fragrance is just on different level, guys. You know, um, supposed to be the fragrance, supposed to be a powdery iris. And iris is such a note. I'm not going to pretend like I know uh, Frederick Mal so well or I know iris or everything. I'm such a knowledgeable person. No. Just going to show you my journey. First fragrance that had an iris uh, sort of a note which had lipsticky vibe, which was this Diorum Intense. You guys know this one. This is a legend. This is my favorite perfume of all time. So this one... Then I would say uh, Prada Loam, I believe they uh, feature an iris note. As well, I think this one, Prada Infusion Dome. They have iris and they also have <coughs> some other notes. But uh, the thing is, iris sort of has 
two kinds of characters the ones that i smell that i do not have also i smell certain kind of like a dirty areas you know like a and then also a cleaner one that smells like soap powder lipstick you know like a makeup box and iris is such a note i'm just very uh, if i smell iris or i see iris note in certain fragrance it, i feel weak for it because i love those perfumes a lot i guess that has a big influence on this one i can't stop smelling my arm i think my i mean my hand this perfume is built for probably for women but uh this fragrance is just so beautiful i am just like it's like a stunning painting sort of like a mona lisa you know or uh, anything you know like i just remember one film let me tell you uh, what women want i think it was mel gibson and uh who was it helen hunt yeah two of my these days i have memory loss due to diabetes i cannot remember a lot of things but that is one of my favorite films i had that film in my terabyte hard disk and it crashed i lost all my favorite hundreds of films you know i feel very sad but that movie of course the memories are always here so that movie there's one scene like uh, that's an interesting movie altogether watch it if you haven't it's a classic movie but there's one part like uh, helen hunt likes mel gibson so much they work in the same office they are kind of like rivals but at the same time they fall for each other like well mel gibson is trying to approach her you know watch the film so she's like uh, i would like to show you my boudoir i think that's not the word she said like that's not how she said it but it means like french it says bedroom and she had a you know like a imagination like her apartment bedroom is going to smell like that it's going to be like music coming out and it's going to be a little bit floral smell this is the fragrance that remind me of that film scene you know like a french bedroom uh, it's so classy it smells so good it has beautiful pillows and cushions and beautiful bed sheets lights candles uh, everything beautiful it's like a lady in a beautiful beautiful lady french lady in a bedroom you know so oh, this perfume is that pretty um this is why i said this is not a planned or scripted review because i just did one other review like this before that was uh, rasas's morhaf kasamat morhaf you know uh, i was like sleepy and i just like all disoriented and i did the review out of nowhere uh, because i fell in love with that perfume this is another perfume that i fell in love with upon smelling i don't know the rest of them i have to check but what a stunning uh, piece of art here it smells like a uh, you know there's like I, i was looking for how to pronounce it on the youtube but i found like there's a french river like a river of uh, poudre <laughs> i don't know if i'm saying it right i think pretty much french is not my strong point definitely but like a, a, the, the the river flows and they collect powder or something there's a documentary but i did not find any particular review on this one in english like people did in three four fragrance in one video like frederick mall but not in particular review on this um like i was looking for just individual review so this perfume is just i don't know how they do their florals man i mean wow just wow you know like when i put on my arm you know even though i'm like i'm not pretty i feel pretty <laughs> yeah, i'm to talking about myself i'm bashing myself but man this perfume is just something else it's such a mood lifter it's such a beautiful beautiful uh classy iris and iris that floral it's like google doll iris that song also you know pops in my head because that was our time back then um this perfume would be so lovely the prices on these i believe i thought at first it's going to be $500 you know but i saw in check in bangladesh approximately like you can get it under $300 i think 100 ml uh if that's the price it is really really i would say cheap but it's really great pricing for a piece of art like this i don't want to buy a clone of i want to buy this perfume by saving up the money I don't care if it's women's perfume I don't care if people say I'm not the most uh, uh masculine man in the room but god I would love to wear this perfume just for my own happiness that is the kind of perfume this is thank you so much sister Rafa for this I think this perfume is just heavenly if you can bring a fragrance like import from heaven this could be it and uh just love it i'm going to cherish every single drop of this and when i need a mood lifter i'm going to use this so well this perfume not going to rate it the performance though it's really nice it's not quite be smooth like uh 24 hours i did not get that on my skin but it easily push like 8 to 10 hours okay so that is basically anyway so even if you're not a fan of floral perfume or feminine perfume or iris powdery iris this is kind of perfume you should check out maybe to change your mind as a revolution you know um yeah beautiful beautiful perfume beautiful house at this current moment my favorite house is frederick mall uh not frederick mall sorry by killian because i'll dig there 
at this phase it will change definitely every single phase we have in life it changes but it leaves memories you know like there's a time i was crazy about creed i still love creed but at certain particular time you can love one thing at a time you know for me i cannot love two things at a time i can love only one thing one person at a time <laughs> so this house i think is gonna be if i sm smell more from this house i think i'm gonna love them but i heard there are some challenging ones in there but this is beautiful let me just put one more spray i just love how this spray sprays i just gonna go one on my neck one there and one there i'm gonna go for a morning walk i'm gonna enjoy that to accompany me you know um work of art stunning piece of art definitely you have to check it out oh my god Oh my God, I never smell iris better than this before. I really need to <laughs> explore more of this uh, note as well as this house. Take care guys, thanks for watching. And I'm just happy this unplanned review I could put there before I expired. <laughs> have a very good morning and have a nice day ahead. I'll see you soon, bye-bye.